Today we're going to be looking at the psionic armor set from the season pass. You have to be level 97 to 98, I think, to get all of the armor. And not going to lie, a lot of the armor is really cool. I do think there's a missed opportunity with the Titan. We'll get into that. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Really does help the channel grow. Also, let me know what you guys think about the new format. Because instead of just showing you one of the guardians per... per uh, part i'm just going to show you all of the guardians throughout the whole thing so for example uh titan warlock and hunter are going to be shown when we're reviewing the armor and when we're going through the shaders but when we do the unique armor that's when i'm going to do it individually so that way you guys can see which armor pieces i'm using and like my thought process on it so again uh like comment in uh comment just to let me know and just get right into it so as you guys can see, we have the Hunter on the left, Titan on the middle, and then Warlock on the right. Now, let's talk about the, some of the things I really like about this armor set. The first thing I really love about this armor set is the fact that it's very Scion heavy. I do think that's a really good positive because it makes sense from what we're doing in the story. Uh, Scion, spoiler alert, if you haven't done the week four story, uh, Scion got killed by a crow, so it kind of makes sense why we have Scion armor. Uh, specifically, I love the helmet for the hunters. I think that's super cool. The cloak is super cool. The boots are super cool. And I think the arms and chest piece are like, they're fine. They're not bad. I think they're okay and they're very usable. Titans, on the other hand, their helmet's pretty gross. Their arms are pretty weak. Their chest piece could be better and their boots are fucking magnificent. And the mark is like fine. For the Warlocks, I think the helmet is really cool. I just don't know what I'm going to combine it with uh, armor pieces and whatnot. The chest piece is okay. I would have liked the back to be a little bit more bulky for the Warlocks. Obviously, that goes for the Titan as well. The arms are very boring and they're uh, asymmetrical, which I already hate. And the boots are also really good because they're symmetrical and they're very minimalistic as well. And then the bond is pretty boring in my opinion so other than that yeah everyone got pretty good armor this season the only issue is the fact that the shader situation is pretty bad which let's just get right into the shader as for the shaders we're going to be looking at seven total uh some of my favorite ones and two of them are currently unobtainable if i remember correctly but other than that the others should be uh easily obtainable so for the first one we're going to be looking at is Echo Anger. I really like this shader a lot. It's like one of my favorite shaders in this season. You get it from getting the two hidden chests in Vow of the Disciple. This one's not too hard. Uh, you do get it from a uh, Triumph, but that's how you get the Triumph. So let me know what you guys think about this shader. Definitely one of my favorite shaders. Um, you guys will notice that there is a lot of red in this one, but for the Titan specifically, there's like a little bit of red. I will explain why in a second. Uh, the next one is going to be Gambit Jade Stone. This one is currently obtainable through a random drop in Gambit. So unfortunately, if you don't like Gambit, but you really like this shader, you're just going to have to nut up and just do it because this is one of the best shaders in the game, especially if you're trying to get for, go for a really bright glow, because as you can see on the hunters, that glow is really, really bright. Uh, the unfortunate part is for the Titans, you guys will see that there's not a lot of green. It's only on the Under Armour. Uh, these, the the armor for the Titans specifically, use a lot of the off colors. I'll explain more once we start seeing other sh shaders. Uh, the next one is a Abyssinian Gold. This is probably one of the best black shaders in the game, most likely. And this one is sold by Eververse, so you would just have to get lucky and she would just have to be selling it that week, unfortunately. Uh, so as you guys can see, the Titans has a really, really, really dark black, which is not usually the case with this shader. This shader is usually a really like, uh, it's just black. It's a regular black. This seems almost like, like, uh, like beyond black. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, the next shader is going to be Sato Tribe. This is personally one of my favorite shaders in the game. Uh, this one is from Season of the Forge. It was unobtainable before the original way was you had to get any drop from Izanami Forge and be lucky that the shader was there. The new way is, if I remember correctly and if it's still happening, uh, Forge Armor will drop randomly and you have a chance to get either the Sato Tribe, the green one or the red one. I don't remember the names off the top of my head. Uh... Yeah, this is one of my favorite shaders. Definitely 
probably the best one if I'm if I'm being honest. Berguzian is really good, which is the next one. And Berguzian is unobtainable. This one should be unobtainable. Uh, but if you guys have gotten it from a random drop with the forge armor, let me know in the comments below because I have not been able to pinpoint if it's unobtainable or not. I'm going to say it's unobtainable only because you got it through specific means and the other forge ar uh, shaders, you, you had to get them just from any source. So Bergusian is really good. You guys will notice that these these armors use a lot of off colors. So, for example, the hunter, the helmet, the chest piece, and the boots, they use a lot of the off colors. These are colors that you will never really see on armor unless the armor specifically uses off color for the shaders. So, for a perfect example, it's the Titans actually. The Titans boots are just pure off color, and then the the uh the blue on the boots also use the secondary color. So unfortunately, Titans, you guys are going to have to like really find some good shaders that go with well with this one, which goes on to my next one, which is Dreaming Spectrum. This one is really good because the good thing about Dreaming Spectrum is the fact that no matter what plate armor you're wearing, if it takes off color, secondary colors or main colors, it will always stick to that bone color. It ignores all of the armor's like choices and it immediately just says your plate armor. Okay, cool. You're immediately going to have this bone color. So Titans, if you do want to rock this, these boots, but it's becoming too hard to like really shader these, then Dreaming Spectrum is going to be the one that you're going to want to use because again, it goes well with everything. Um, I do use this shader for the custom armor that we're going to look at in a bit, but again this is going to be your best bet and then last but not least we have echoed anger this one is unobtainable this is from iron banner uh season three which is war mind uh this one is probably one of the coolest armor sets the cool thing too is this one specifically and like three other shaders that i've currently found actually make the hunter's cloak uh cloth so if you don't like the glow there's definitely uh, shaders out there that you will just make it a cloth which completely blew my mind I'm very happy that they did that so make sure you uh, start going through all the shaders to see which ones are and which ones are not shaderable and which ones change the the cloak to be non glow this one's also one of my favorites it's from one of my favorite uh, armor sets as well but yeah so yeah next up is gonna be the custom armor as for the custom armor, this is the armor set that I made for my hunter. It's basically like a mercenary type thing, which I think came out really good, especially the cloak. I think I mentioned it in the shaders uh, preview, but essentially this shader makes this cloak uh, kind of like cloth, which is really cool, which makes me think there might be other shaders that do this. So make sure to check out for that if I may or may not have already said that. But this is what, what I came up with. I really like it. Let's go with the helmet. The helmet is the knucklehead radar with the nine days slash nights, which I think looks really good for the arms. We're using the crystal cream grips. I really like these, but basically because they look like the arms for for this chest piece, which is the Dimas born vest. I love these two combinations. They go really well together. For the boots, this one was, was where I kind of like settled, settled for less because there aren't that many uh, tactical boots, if I remember correctly. At least I don't remember them off the top of my head. I guess I could use this one, but I just don't like this part right here. It's too big in my opinion. So I honestly, I should be using the boots. And if I'm being honest, this actually does look a lot better and the only reason that I kind of don't want to use it is because I'd be wearing two pieces of, you know, of the armor set. But at this point, like, I think this looks way better anyways. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And for the cloak, we're using the psionic cloak, which again, really cool that it does this. Uh, this is the only reason why I included this, this shader, the iron to steel, because I didn't want to include that many shaders that are unobtainable, but this one had to go up just because of the fact that it turns it into cloth. So. Uh, next up is titans and for the titans we have this uh racer look that i did i did make a video of uh a racer or srl feel for all of the guardians except the warlocks 
Um, so th that video is still going to come out. It's just I haven't done it in a while. But I won't talk about this too much because it has a video in itself. But essentially, uh, Midnight Oil Helmet, one of the best helmets that the Titans have right now for sure. And then obviously for the boots, we have the Psionic Stranglers. This one is really rough because it, you, it uses a lot of off colors. So... I should have spoken about this in the shaders, but I'll just reiterate just a little bit. Uh, you will see that this armor uses the off color of the shaders most of the time. So for example, let's use, let's use a shader that I actually really, really know. So for example, no, no, no. For example, I already showed it in this, but this one, the off color, the, the color that you rarely ever see is this crystal like texture. You never really see this on Braguzian Knight. And unfortunately, this is the shade. This is the the color that you will see on the boots and pretty much on on the armor as well. So just be aware that this shade, this these boots take shaders really poorly, which is why I went with the Dreaming Spectrum shader because Dreaming Spectrum shader really does a great job at just um, homogenizing all of the colors into one. So if you have an armor set that only takes one shader one way the dreaming spectrum shader will usually just ignore that and color everything if it's a plate armor then most of the time it's just going to shader it this color which is really good so i'm not going to go through all of it like i said i've already made a video on this which i still have to post but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite ones that i've done no exotic as well which i think was pretty cool as well so next up is warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts and as for the warlocks i leaned into the cabal theme a lot just because I honestly didn't know where I wanted to go with this set. Uh, I knew I wanted to use the helmet because the helmet is just absolutely wild. But other than that, I honestly don't know. And for the Warlocks, I decided to lean really heavy into the Cabal theme just because uh, I wasn't really thinking about anything else other than the helmet. The helmet I really wanted to use. Don't get me wrong, the cloak is all or. And as for the Warlocks, I decided to lean into the Cabal theme just because I really wanted to use the helmet. Uh, I was thinking about using the uh, chest piece, which is right here. I was thinking about using this with maybe something else, but I decided to go to go with this one just because I feel like that's a lot better with this whole set. For the helmet, we're obviously using the psionic uh, speaker hood, which I think looks cool. Definitely looks cool. I just wish the these hooks things was on the hunter because the hunter got the sniper helmet and the sniper helmet has like like something in its head too, but I'm still fine with it. Uh, for the arms, we're using the gateway artist with the flight of the interceptor. This is the cabal arms, which I think looks cool for the for the chest piece, we're using the, uh, what's it called? The horned uh, alliance, I think it's called. Actually, let's check it out right now. Uh, the Tusk Allegiance. I was damn close. Uh, it's really cool. I definitely like it. It's not the worst chest piece I've ever seen. If I, I'd actually argue it's actually a chest piece that I actually really, really like, surprisingly. Um, which means that this armor is not going to be used in the allegiance or the tusk allegiance armor review which i still haven't done but i'm doing this one first just because this armor uh excites me a lot more the uh or no, uh the ornament armor at least uh for the boots we're using the Braytech tech researchers boots just because i feel like that down lends itself really well to this whole set and then last but not least the fetish bond which i used only because of the weird like geometry that the that the that the uh chest piece has goes really well with this one as well uh, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. I'm trying a new uh, a new format for the armor reviews that just to spice them up. Not only that, uh, if you guys do watch uh, Crips, he I kind of got the idea from him because I like just the format that he was doing. So I'm basically just copying. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I'm not gonna act like this is original. I really liked his his format, and I'm trying to like at least take some of it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, let's see in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about the custom ar armor that I did for at the end. I loved the Hunter. The Hunter for me is probably the best just because it's very thematic. Da but the Titans also looked really good. Their, their SRL look just looks so beautiful. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later.